Friendship Force International was launched at a White House ceremony on March 1, 1977, with the endorsement and support of President Jimmy Carter. Rosalind Carter was named honorary chairperson. The idea was born in the imagination of Wayne Smith, a dreamer and a visionary who understood the potential of friendship to overcome the prejudices of culture, color, language, and religion. Today, Friendship Force International is a worldwide organization with chapters, also known as clubs, in more than 350 cities and 60 countries. The Friendship Force mission, to promote global understanding across the barriers that separate people. Each year, more than 5,000 citizen ambassadors travel with Friendship Force International, changing the way they see the world by exploring other countries from the inside as temporary citizens. Living with a host family, sharing everyday life, brings a profound understanding of another country and culture. And FFI also offers new ways to serve our planet through humanitarian, educational, and environmental projects around the world. But the opportunity to live with a family, to be more than just a tourist, is the signature experience of travel with Friendship Force International. Wayne Smith, who started Friendship Force, has always said that the best way to get to know people is to put your feet under that table. And I think it really makes a difference. And um, the personal experiences add so much to the trip. That's what has made the Friendship Force so successful. Friendship Force International has made a profound difference in the world. Its work has been recognized with a nomination for the Nobel Peace Prize. More than one million people in 60 countries have participated as hosts or citizen ambassadors. People with the passion and courage to go into difficult areas of the world in the name of friendship. It is a powerful legacy and a powerful opportunity. In the early 1980s, the Friendship Force broke through the Iron Curtain with exchanges between the Soviet Union and the United States. From this extraordinary past, we move toward a vitally important future. Today's troubled world has left many countries hungry for the hand of a friend. The future of FFI lies both in strengthening ties to familiar destinations and extending the hand of friendship to new friends in Morocco, Israel, Jordan, China, South Africa, and Vietnam, and especially to friends in the Muslim world. You run tremendous risks in going to new places. Former United Nations Ambassador Andrew Young sits on the International Advisory Board of Friendship Force International. Places that are unknown and frightening, and yet you go, and as a result of your going, you build new relationships with people that I think contribute to changing the world in which we live. In fact, I know that you have contributed to changing the world in which we live. Changing the way you see the world. It begins with hello. It begins with come in. It begins with you. More than ever, we need the force of friendship at work in the world. Friendship is an ordinary word, and yet a word that can change strangers into friends with a handshake and a smile. One word powerful enough to change the world. One organization dedicated to making it happen. Friendship Force International. We're changing the world. One friend at a time.